I would like everyone to meet Trey. He's what's called a therapy dog, and he has a very important job. His job is to help people who are grieving. He's a canine with his own business card, which owner Jean Noli says she's been giving out a lot lately. Since the mass shooting, she says her Pomeranian has been working, well, like a dog. Monday night, Noli says 17 dogs from her program, Perfect Paws Pet Training, offered their friendship at a vigil at Chesapeake City Park. I saw everything from smiles to cheers. And one lady picked him up and just buried her head in him and was crying. I asked her if she would like me to get her a chaplain and she said no, she needed the dog. Tisha Thornton, a specialist who sees patients who have endured trauma and distress, say that therapy dogs wear a badge of man's best friend proudly. You can talk and just be open and transparent and not feel as though that person is looking at you differently or just, you know, looking at you harshly. So it's just more comfortable. <laughs> and our sidekick to everyday heroes and those hurting as well. Times have changed. And we are finding that our first responders, they need the dogs worse than patients do. Our employees at nursing homes, hospitals, they need the dogs. And we need them badly. Now, just as a reminder for people, there is a distinct difference between service animals and therapy dogs. You might remember service animals will have usually a black vest that says service on them, but these guys right here will have these little yellow tags make it okay to pet them and show them affection. Reporting in Williamsburg, I'm Danielle Seda, and this is Trey, News 3.